subscribe. Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. So we have a lot to cover today. UFOs are suddenly a threat to us. How convenient. And we're going to get to that here in a minute because I posted an Instagram post about this and a Twitter post. So we'll get to that in a minute because this, this stuff, you know, really kind of makes my blood boil here. But first, because I haven't posted a video in a little bit, I want to get to some UFO footage before anything else. So let's go to UFO Reddit where we have this video that was posted and it may be gone by the time this video is uploaded. Posted on at the time of making this video, August 28th, so just yesterday, by Reddit user did not see one. He titled this footage, quote, deleted Reddit video from a DOD facility. And of course, DOD stands for Department of Defense. This is government. So before we go any further, let's play this clip of an anomalous object appearing on what looks like a surveillance camera that is then being recorded secondhand off of a computer monitor. You can see a fly over the horizon. I'm going to slow it down here. Now it's just halted in midair. Then shortly I zoom in. This is where I notice it. I'm gonna pause here. And that's the object uh, that I zoomed in on. I'm gonna play it again. I zoom back out, because I really can't believe what I'm seeing. So I zoom back in, and as I zoom back in, it disappears there, it just fades out. And so I zoom back out to make sure that's just not a camera issue. And then it reappears, so I zoom back in immediately, and there it is again. And then as I zoom in the second time, or third time, um, it disappears again, and unfortunately on this phone camera you can't see it, but it fades off gently to the right. It's very pixelated on this camera. So I sit here for a second and wait for it to come back, and it doesn't. Um, but it was sitting there for around four minutes, and as soon as I started observing it, it disappeared. And I monitored this camera for the rest of the night, and it never came back. So hopefully we can figure this out. Okay, so uh, pretty self-explanatory. The narrator who posted this does a great job talking about what we're seeing as he's filming this unidentified glowing object that has, you know, a saucer-like shape to it, if I had to call it anything. And what's kind of creepy about this footage is that according to other users here, this had been previously uploaded to Reddit and was almost immediately deleted. And uh, we can see this as we scroll down to the description in the comments. But as we go a little further, we seem to get some confirmation that this is a legit video. And not only that, that the poster of it is legit, where a user says, quote, I went through this guy's profile and comments and he's been active on Reddit over a couple of years and I went back and also verified this. Uh, the guy seemed very interactive uh, within the UFO research community. The author of the video is definitely in the Air Force and that the video poster regularly commented on r slash Air Force on Reddit with all kinds of specifics that only military men would know. So he seems legit. 
Another poster down further voiced his concerns about the footage, saying, quote, I can't believe he would post a security video on a public forum like this. That seems very risky. As for the video itself, it definitely warrants further analysis. If we had a transparent UAP office, you know what guys, I swear, if I have to hear the term UAP one more time, it's UFO. All right, it's UFO, it always has been. So if you're on this channel, use the term UFO and not this new term that the government decided or is at least claiming to the public is what they're actually called. And so the user here on Reddit talking about how he's worried about this footage being posted, he also said that if we were to have a quote, transparent UAP or UFO office at the Pentagon, this video should go to them for analysis. Again, good luck with that. The user finishes off by saying, quote, I can't imagine how many times higher ups at the United States Air Force have seen videos like these and then hit the erase button. And I can confirm that it's definitely real. And this is pretty crazy, especially if this was taken in a Department of Defense uh, establishment or building somewhere. We need more information on this. So I'm looking into that, but I wanted to get it up here to get your initial view on it. Hopefully this video won't get taken down, but it's out there. And to the contrary, I believe that footage should be leaked online because that's the whole point of getting to the truth. And despite what you're hearing on CNN or from Congress or the Pentagon, this stuff is nothing new. Tell me what you think about this. I will put the link to the Reddit post down in the video description. Pretty crazy UFO footage. So next, a clip that was personally submitted to the Secure Team 10 Gmail account. And so this email was from a viewer in the UK that filmed this very strange glowing object moving through the sky. And it's, it's just, you know, it's one of those clips that kind of leaves you hanging. You know, you're really not sure what it is, but here is the clip in full. All right, guys, so yeah, again, very short clip posted as a YouTube short. Now, originally, I thought that this may be a rocket launch of some sort, leaving a trail behind, but the more I watched it, it's obviously not that. Uh, rockets typically leave a spiral type shape, and I've just seen enough launches over the years, whether it be NASA or SpaceX or other countries testing missiles and whatnot. This thing, you can tell in the footage, there are rings in the sky that this UFO could have possibly made, but it looks to have some sort of glowing material material streaking off the back of it. The video looks to be taken in the evening. We've got street lights on and it looks relatively overcast or cloudy out. I'm not from this area and the viewer himself said he, you know, had no idea what this was and other people had captured similar objects and didn't know what they were who were from this area and local. I know we've got millions of UK viewers, so put it down below if you know what this is. This was posted by O. Sullivan with the title Cambridgeshire or Cambridgeshire Lights in the Sky, July 2022 UFO. Tell me what you guys think down below. And so I want to get back to uh, the intro of today's video. And uh, this is a topic that, that kind of makes my blood boil. And as far as what I'm seeing in the mainstream news media, we have congressmen and people within the government are now and suddenly, quite strangely, spreading the narrative that UFOs are a growing threat to national security out of nowhere, mind you. This is what drives me crazy. But as of late, okay, starting in mid-2018, when the narrative started to be taken over by the government with the help of the mainstream media, and especially right now, the government is calling UFOs a threat to national security. And all it takes is simple logic to totally destroy this narrative. UFOs have never been a threat to us. And if they were, I would not be here talking into this microphone to you guys right now. The planet would likely not exist. And so we are now seeing in real time this UFO threat narrative taking shape. And it makes perfect sense to me because in my study of this subject over the past 10 years publicly on YouTube, many more years before that, I've also studied the government because they play a huge role. They are the flip side to the coin of the UFO cover-up. 
and I've shown you guys the government's documented, well-documented, dicey history of not only covering up and injecting misinformation into the UFO research community. And so, when I talked about this so-called UFO threat on uh, Twitter and Instagram, I cited something called Project Bluebeam, which is actually a well-discussed secret government project where in which uh, people with inside the government got together in order to figure out a way to use specifically the UFO subject and people's fears of it to essentially, and I'm really summing it up here in a nutshell, but essentially to stage a, a fake alien invasion in order to usher in a new world order. You can look it up, it's called Project Bluebeam and they spitballed many ideas. Probably the most prevalent was using a massive crisscrossing section of holographic projectors where they would project images onto the skies of planet Earth of what looked like an alien invasion and in doing so scare the public into blindly accepting whatever the government told us in this fight against these extraterrestrial invaders. Now I'm not saying that there are some going to be holographic projections in the skies to usher in some sort of new world order, but I am saying, look at what we're seeing now. UFOs were not a threat five years ago. They weren't a threat 10 or 20 years ago. They weren't a threat 50 years ago. Especially in those times where militarily planet Earth would have been a sitting duck for an alien race to invade and destroy. And yet you're telling me they've waited until 2022 when we are at our most powerful and militarily advanced? It makes no sense. And so when I start seeing reports about UFOs quickly becoming a national security threat, it's just BS. I see right through it. And it's a common tactic by the government when they inevitably realize that they can no longer deny the existence and truth of something. And so they suddenly embrace it and strangely act as if they were in agreement with us all along. And amid all of the confusion, they quietly take over almost complete control of the UFO narrative, which you guys are seeing them do as we speak. Now the next tactic is to slowly morph the UFO subject or any chosen subject with the help of the mainstream media into this so-called quote threat and ultimately make way for the approval of trillions of dollars in defense spending in order to defend against this sudden imaginary UFO threat. And once they have the fear, they then need to justify it. And how do they do that? With a catalyst. Werner von Braun, the man who made it possible for us to have the technology to get to the moon and put men in space, he said on his deathbed that we must stop the weaponization of space because there is a lie being told to everyone. And then he said that the last card that the US government would use would be, and I quote, a false alien invasion to unite the world against the aliens to usher in a one world government and a one world religion. So just for clarification here, use your logic and your common sense guys. UFOs are not a threat. They never were and if they were, we wouldn't be here today. So what is the reason? What's the agenda? I will leave that up to you guys, but what I will say is just do not be naive. And with that guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Tell me what you think about that DOD footage, the footage out of the UK, and I'll end this video with a vintage UFO photograph taken way back in the day before I was born, especially. And you guys, tell me what you think about it down below. So stay tuned, thank you all for stopping by today, and I will see you guys on the next Alien Invasion.